Hello Laughing Campers. I'm going to do a little quick tour of my trail to the mailbox. This right here is Creeping Snowberry. It gets these white berries on it that are amazing and beautiful. This is Oregon Grape Root. It's very pokey and it gets, it gets actual grapes on it. Really pretty flowers that smell like roses. They're yellow flowers and they smell amazing. I learned that this year. <laughs> I made a flower essence out of one. And um, this is kind of our neighbor's little orchard area here. And what do we got over here? So this is Scurf Pea. These little cuties, these cute little flowers this is called Scurf Pea. I don't know much about it. It's new to me since I moved here. And then this is a type of mallow. And it, I keep, I, it, I can't quite perfectly identify it yet, but it is absolutely gorgeous and grows here along the trail. And then way back there you can see that there's a bunch of scotch broom. It looks really beautiful when it's blooming, but it's quite invasive. And then here is a little, a little info about how to identify Doug fir, which is everywhere here. They're the only ones that have these little quote, rat tails, they call them, that stick out on them. And so this is a dog fur right here. So that is a good way to know, especially if you're mushroom hunting or something. So this is a live oak here, and it can have non-pointy and pointy leaves, depending on if the deers have eaten them. And then this is manzanita so beautiful i love manzanita and these get little berries on them that have sugar in them that you can harvest and use and it's amazing we have quite a bit of it <laughs> and you know this was one that i just recently identified and i can't remember what it is anymore i'm not sure it kind of looks like a live oak though but maybe it's just a live oak flowering and it gets these different leaves on. I think that's the deal here. I think it is a, a live oak, but it's in flower. So, and we got oak. We have a few different types of oak here, black oak, and, and then we have poison oak, which comes in many different appearances. It's tricky. <laughs> um, and here's some more. Oregon grape root. I wish I had some that was flowering or and there's an oak. And there's more poison oak. And then this is a better flowering scurf pea. It's so pretty. Oh, I wish I was doing this horizontally. <laughs> this is kind of my first time through. I might I might do it again. But there is a lot of stuff to look at on my little walk to the mailbox. And I love, I kind of love walking it because there's more poison oak. It's in flower. It's beginning to flower there. They get little white berries on them as well. And there's a little daisy. We have tons of daisies here. There's more poison oak. Get familiar with it because it's everywhere. <laughs> We don't have it too bad up here, and I keep areas clean of it. So this is Woodland Medea, and there's a lot of it around as well. And uh, It's useful as a flower essence, but I haven't actually made one out of it yet, so I don't know a lot about it. Um, and there's a rose. It's kind of amazing how much stuff is on this trail. There is a rainbow iris. They're so beautiful. Um, so these kind of vines that are covering the ground here, it's unfortunate that it's not, yeah, okay, there we go. These are called modesty. And I always joke that they're anything but modest because <laughs> they just take over, they're really. And then this is um, uh, rue, a type of rue, woodland rue. Um, and there's more. That's a filbert. That's a, I never see them get nuts on them. 
And these are a, a type of vetch, a smaller vetch, like a crown vetch. Um, and there's these one beautiful flowers called Pretty Face, but I always miss them. And so these are columbine. They have unique leaves. The leaf miners really like them. They get them up at my place too. And here's the columbine. It's so amazing. It's just such an unusual flower. So beautiful. Uh, we've got quite a few of those kind of doing their thing here. And this is all uh, modesty here. And growing different things. Columbine. And oh, look at this treat. Oh, how exciting. I did not see this on my way. Tipsisawa. Isn't it amazing? Oh, I'm so excited that this just called out to me because I did not see it on my way in. And so they kind of nod down. You gotta flip the flower up. They're so beautiful. Oh, I just love this trail. There's so much good goodness. <laughs> so much goodness. There's more of the rainbow iris. And this is called Ukao, which I love that name. It, it, to me, it looks like it is like a wild <clears throat> uh, garlic or something, the way that it looks. But this kind of grows you know, quite a bit in our backyard. And I'm really trying to keep an eye out for the pretty face because it's so pretty and I miss it. I, I was trying to keep an eye out for it on my way. Um, I know I'm not doing a good camera job because I'm trying to look at everything else. There's a lovely columbine. Um, I gotta find it. I gotta show you guys. It's so amazing. I'm not sure what this little cutie is. Mm. I'm kind of obsessed over identifying everything. So this is Solomon's plume. The plume is kind of um, back now. some different kinds of ferns. This is supposedly a mock orange and I just saw one in town and it had the most amazing flowers on it and they smelled so good. So I can't wait to come back and see if that's what this is because I couldn't identify it last year. I thought maybe it was a dogwood but it's it's not I don't think. So we're gonna we're gonna stay tuned <laughs> on that one. Oh, come on, pretty face, where are you? I miss you every time. It's really weird how I can't seem to keep track of it. It's on the left side. And I looked and looked on my way in and I didn't see them because they're kind of small. But they are really pretty. And I think I missed them again. It's so weird. I'm going to have to come back. This will just be my little... Where are you guys? My my intro. <laughs> so I know what's all growing here and I'll do a better job. Oh, Medea, so pretty. I gotta find out what these little cuties are. I don't know what those are. But yeah, I don't know. I lost it again. Somehow I keep missing the pretty face. So I'll have to make another run. Because I'm almost at the end and I'm pretty sure it's like somewhere in the middle. So, um, and there's honeysuckle too. There's quite a bit of honeysuckle hanging out. We've got a lot of honeysuckle vines, which I'm excited to make things out of the vines as I make trails and do things. I come across the old vines and stuff. And I really love this vetch. I have not been able to positively identify what type of vetch it is yet, but it gets really beautiful flowers and there's a bunch that's grown up at, at the house. And I really like it, but I can't seem to. So yeah, I missed the pretty face again. That is so crazy. <laughs> I don't know. I just saw it the one. I just saw it the last time I went to go get the mail. So I will be getting some mail today. So I will give this video another try. Brian's redoing the driveway 
because it's very rutted and crazy and he's actually having a blast doing it and uh so i'm trying to get back up so he can come down <laughs> and there's good old fendi we love you fendi you make life so much easier it's quite a walk to the mailbox <laughs> and if you're not up for it or you're busy or it could be a bit much so all right there we go